Everybody loves a good what if Pokemon story and fan made Pokemon, but have you ever wondered what Pokemon would look like if they were based off of the amazing cast of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I'm talking characters, stands, and even Dio himself. Well, thanks to this amazing artist, the Ponyo, we'll be taking a look at Pokemon that are inspired by the JoJo's Bizarre franchise. His links to more of his amazing artworks will be in the pinned comments down below. But if you're ready to get bizarre, then sit back, get cozy, tap that like button and let's jump in with our first wonderful Pokemon. And this one is actually going to be one of the regional variants of this bizarre region. Introducing Jojonian Ryulu, the dark type emanation Pokemon. And the character this Pokemon is based off of is the ancient stand bound to a sword known as Anubis from the Stardust series, which let's be honest makes total sense for our first character here. It's also said that this Pokemon feeds off of the negative emotions of trainers and can also absorb those negative emotions, meaning it can help cleanse trainers of any difficult mental spots. As for its abilities, it's got Prankster and Inner Focus as its main two abilities, and for its hidden ability, it's Moxie, which is an amazing ability. And as for the stats, we got nothing too out of this world with this Ryolu, but it can definitely scrap with that high attack stat. But now let's check out its evolution, and the way this Ryolu evolves is kinda sad. Instead of maxing out its friendship, you do the complete opposite in Tankant. Meaning at zero friendship, this Pokemon evolves into Bladus, the dark steel type sickle Pokemon. Yeah, definitely not a Lucario, but a very distant cousin. And now we're starting to enter the bizarre portion of the video. It's said that Bladus can possess the body and mind of humans in order to force them to become their trainer. Now you're probably wondering why would a Pokemon want that? And there is a specific reason why Bladus latest does this, but we'll get more into that a bit later. First, let's check out the new ability being Defiant, which takes Prankster's spot and its stats, making Bladus a very fast and physically damaging Pokemon. It's also got moves like Sucker Punch, Excisor, and even Smart Strike. But now let's get back to why would a Pokemon this strong need to possess a trainer? Well, that's because with a trainer, it can get even stronger, with the unique bond phenomena known as, yup, you guessed it, Mega Evolution. Introduce Introducing Mega Bladus, the Dark Steel type sickle Pokemon, which is honestly such a great idea, and I love this design. It makes total sense from the anime with the Anubis stand and how it forces people to become its stand user. So, playing on that idea and making Bladus do something similar in order to access Mega Evolution, which is known to require a trainer with a Mega Bracelet, makes total sense to me. And I, for one, am a huge fan. Although, I wouldn't want to hug this guy. Anyway, its stats are pretty. Pretty insane, so good luck going up against this Pokemon. I would much rather have one on my team, even if it did end up not really being my team from the get-go. But what do you guys think? Pretty neat, huh? Alright, now we're moving on to another regional variant because that's what we're doing in today's video, for the most part. And that's a Jojonian Ponyard, the steel fighting type sharp blade Pokemon who's based on the champ himself, Ponyard. And this one is probably one of my favorites. It's said that this Ponyard is strong, honorable, and exceptional with its blade. And its abilities are Steadfast, Inner Focus, and the hidden ability No Guard, which makes total sense with a Pokemon wielding a sword, but not a shield when you kinda think about it. Its stats make it fast and physically damaging, but at the cost of being super frail. So be careful taking hits with this Pokemon. And you'll have to be careful for quite some time because Ponyard here doesn't actually evolve until level 42. And that's when it becomes a Jojonian Bisharp, the steel fighting type sword blade Pokemon. And now we've got some pretty solid stats. Defenses have gone up a bit, but the attack and speed stat make this Pokemon a force to be reckoned with, even with only a base stat total of 490. But don't sleep on this Pokemon, because it's also got access to moves like Swords Dance, Iron Defense, and even Metal Sound, which is extremely capable of boosting its stats even further and leaving a lasting impression on the battlefield, just like the character it's inspired by. But this Bisharp, just like in Poldea, gets a brand new evolution. However, instead of defeating three other Bisharps in order to evolve into a King Gambit, this Jojonian Bisharp needs to defeat 20 ghost type Pokemon. Once it does, then it evolves into Requiet, the steel ghost type wheel blade Pokemon, who's based off of the stand known as Silver Chariot. Now with this new evolution, Requiet gets a brand new ability similar to King Gambit's Supreme Overlord, but now it's called Supreme Drift. <laughs> oh yeah. And it works a bit different. You see, when this Pokemon enters a battlefield, its speed 
speed and evasion stats are slightly boosted for each of its allies in its party that have already been defeated, making it a very slippery Pokemon to target. That and along with the immense speed and attack stat make Requiem a Pokemon you don't want to miss out on. But what do you guys think? Personally, I'm a huge fan. Okay, okay, now it's time to introduce another regional variant that is based off of a JoJo villain. However, I'm not going to reveal the villain until we get to its final evolution. So let me know your guesses in the comments before the reveal. But here we've got a Jojonian Duskull, the ghost dark type Requiem Pokemon, who's got the ability Levitate as well as the hidden ability Harvest. Its dex entry states that this Pokemon wears a cowl to hide its skull shaped face and even bears a heart shaped motif in order to present as a friendly ghost. Its stats are slightly different from the Hoenn variant, but this version is a bit faster. And once your Duskull reaches level 37, it will evolve into a Jojonian Dusclops, the ghost dark type beacon Pokemon. And this Pokemon has given up entirely on trying to look friendly and nice, and instead it's completely taken on the mantle of scary and ghoulish, especially with its glowing eyeball. Its abilities changes from levitate to pressure, and its stats are also just a bit different from the original version. However, this form is much quicker, so that's kind of a plus. It's also got some moves like Sucker Punch and Dark Pulse that now do stab damage, so there's another plus to this Pokemon. But now let's check out the final evolution and reveal who this Pokemon is actually inspired by. You see, once you trade your Dusclops while it's holding the Reaper's Cowl, then it will evolve into Duskream, the ghost dark type omen Pokemon who is based on the stand known as Cream, which belongs to the stand user Vanilla Ice, the villain created by Dio himself in order to stop the Joestar group. But we all know how that ended up, don't we? This Pokemon is set to be able to create spectral balls that eliminate anything they touch, not to be confused with the move Shadow Ball, a very skilled and highly dangerous ability. It also uses this spectral void phenomena to move in and out of planes of existence, which is kinda nuts when you think about it. As for its stats, it's way faster than Dusknoir and also presents a relatively decent bulk to it and is definitely a Pokemon I would much rather have on my team than go up against, especially with that dex entry. Which now brings us to our final Pokemon and our first non-regional variant, introducing Saggy, the ground normal type goofy Pokemon based on the adorable Iggy. Now don't let this cute Paparino fool you, ooh see what I did there? He's got a bag of skills that can be quite infuriating to deal with. Their abilities are Vital Spirit and the hidden ability Sand Veil, but its real wonder is in the moves this Pokemon has access to. It's got a ton of coverage with moves like Disarming Voice, Rollout, and even Aerial Ace making Saggy here an absolute wonder. It also has access to stab moves like Dig and Takedown, but this Pokemon's bag is so heavy that you can run almost any moveset on it to say the least. Its stats are also pretty well rounded, especially for a first stage Pokemon, and it only gets stronger once it evolves. Saggy evolves as soon as its friendship is maxed out, and that's when it becomes Houndfu, the ground steel type fool Pokemon, based on Iggy's own stand known as the Fool. Yeah, did you know Iggy the dog was also a stand user? I mean, Bizarre is literally in the name after all, what do you expect from this series? It's also got two back wheels to represent the stand, but also helps it dodge moves in tandem with its hidden ability Sand Veil. Its stats make it a very well-rounded physical attacker, and the shiny variant is absolutely stunning, oh my god. But what do you guys think? Definitely a top tier stand Pokemon. Now now, don't worry, you already know there's a part 2 in the making, and once we hit our like goal of 600 likes, we'll be right back with even more JoJo characters turned into Pokemon. Trust me, you won't want to miss that. But that's pretty much a wrap, thanks for watching, as always like and subscribe, and while you're at it, why don't you check out the rest of my channel for more quality content. Something tells me you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, check out this video next, and see you soon. Bye.